So, Radio Winchcombe, coming up next, it's Lauren Drummond. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good, thank you. Um, so, first of all, thank you for joining us on the, on the Waterloo Road, Road special. And you were one of the uh, originals as well, of course, Mika Granger from the <laughs> yeah. very first series uh, 12 years yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, it, yeah, it has been a while. It's the only thing in my life that makes me feel old <laughs> when I refer to it. It's, there's not much, well, there is more and more as you get older, but um, there isn't much in my life where I've said, oh, gosh, that was 10 years ago, that was 12 years ago, but... That one, <laughs> whenever I talk about it, I always think, ooh, oh gosh, <laughs> like a stamp. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, it was very happy memories. I was going to say, first of all, how did it all come about for you? How did you, you get the part? Did you have to audition for it? Yeah, yeah. I was, um, so I was 16, no, 17. Um, and I had, yeah, just norm, normal audition now. I, I mean, at the time it felt like... Um, it felt not unusual but you were going after school and things like or after college Um, and I was doing heartbeat at the time so I would come I had about five auditions so um, I would come from Leeds which was filmed in heartbeat um, and my mum had always went with my mum or dad Um, so they would because I I thought it was bad luck I always wore the same outfit as well (laughs) thank god I've got out of that habit (laughs) Um, and yeah went for for um, for for, um, five auditions so recalls and recalls and then yes eventually got it and what was it like uh meeting your on-screen uh, family for the first time can you remember how that how that was the whole experience yeah i can i remember jill halfpenny saying you two are my first children and i'm only 30 <laughs> 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 she never had it she never it was the first time she played a mum, so she was having probably a similar realization to I, as i am now and um, she was like we were her first kids and we were, and also we were both. I think Katie was. I think she was the same age as me. So yeah, we were both seventeen. So yeah, we were old kids for her. <laughs> and do you still stay in touch with your with your on screen family? Not so much with Katie or Jill, but I see Jason quite a lot. I see Jason at audition. Jason though, he played our dad or stepdad, and we. I see him at auditions quite a bit, and um, but. I mostly stay in touch with Adam Thomas. Um, yeah. We we grew up together. We went to um, to drama classes together, um, and Denise. Well, of course, I I'm, yeah, still in touch with Denise a lot. But I always forget that she's from Waterloo Road because I've I've worked with her since. So um, so yes, yeah, Denise and I are still very good friends. Um, but yeah, not so much Katie and Jill. But I see I saw Jill um, in the street a few years ago, and she and I said Jill. Jill, it's me. And then she was like, looked at me as if to say, oh my gosh, you look like you used to be my daughter. <laughs> but um, obviously I've changed a lot. And I, when I first started, um, I was doing heartbeat. So I, and I, my mum in heartbeat was, um, she was Spanish. So they dyed my hair jet black. So for the first series of Waterloo Road, I had jet black hair. So I, naturally I'm a blonde. So okay. as the series went on, I got blonder and blonder. So I looked very different as to how I was when I first started out. <laughs> now, the character Mika, she was just so nice. I mean, she always just looked at the positive <laughs> things uh, in life. And until she got involved with bad boy Brett Aspinall. Uh, Brett. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that caused fireworks, yeah. didn't it? I mean, y- your sister had an affair with him. I mean, that caused you two to fall out. She ran away. Yeah. What a storyline yeah. to be involved in. I know it was brilliant especially when you're in a series and everyone kind of takes their turn to have the lead storylines and um, that was a brilliant one to to be a part of um, and just like the drama of it I mean it's dramatic anyway but that kind of drama for a teenager is even bigger and we didn't have social media or anything then yeah. so um so yeah it was it was a brilliant one to be part of and uh, tom who plays brett he we stay in touch as well and he um he was always great and um, he was really good fun so it was i was with a good good group of people and I mean, the show uh, from the very first series, it just went off the scale. It was so popular. It it pulled in the viewers. Yeah. How did you cope with that popularity? Because I know you're, you were already on Heartbeat, but I, I, Waterloo Road must have brought something completely uh, different to you. Yeah, I mean, it was. Um, yeah, it, I don't know. It was, you didn't, because it, it was a bit of a slow burner because the first, I think the first, series was eight episodes and then the next was maybe 12 and yeah. then the next was 16 so um, 
the first the first year, I remember my brother, he was at university in America at the time, and when he, so he missed all of it, or well, I was in it for, for three years, he missed all of it, um, And but when the first series had been out, um, people would start to ask you for pictures or for, for autographs, and after the second year, he came home, and we were in the traffic centre, which is a shopping centre near us, and um, people kept coming up to me asking me for pictures, and he was like... What? why do they want a picture of you is this, is this that thing that you've been in because he didn't know he didn't know what it was um but yeah yeah it was, it was always nice and I have a nice character so the people are nice to you when you've got a nice character so <laughs> that was it so it was nice that people come and talk to you and for you do you have a, a standout memory of the show something that you always kind of remember or you have fond memories uh, about uh, I always remember the green rooms because we had um, we had kids green rooms and adult green rooms, but all the kids were basically adults. So there was always this kind of like, and Tom particularly, he was twenty four, I think, um, and he was away from home. They put him. We we all stayed at home with our parents, um, most of the kids or teenagers uh, but Tom had come from London so he was living in in the flats with Angela Griffin and and Jill Harpenny and all the adults they all had uh, flats so then when he came to work he was meant to sit in the kids green room with with some of the younger ones that were only 11 as well so there was almost kind of um a uh, not a riot but a campaign <laughs> to uh, to get us in, promoted into the green room which we won <laughs> So yeah, we got into the adult green room. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, um, but yeah, just just hanging out with everyone was is always a nice memory. I was going to say a a standout moment in the show, and it was actually a very sad moment. Was obviously when Izzy Redpath, uh, your your on screen mum, uh, died. Um, how did yeah. you feel about that storyline? Because that must have been, even as an actress, to, to have like an on-screen family and suddenly one of the, one of the uh, ma- members of the family is going. So how did you kind of feel about that? Yeah, it was really strange, actually, because, um, yeah, you just... Well, I suppose, oh, gosh, I wouldn't want to think what it must be like, but you, it's, that happened at the end of Series 2, so you just... Um, don't know you, there's just this real sense of oh what's going to happen yeah. what 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 will happen in the next series and obviously um it was heartbreaking and and you're trying to deal with emotions that you have no idea of thank god um and yeah it was just it was a really challenging storyline um great from an actor's point of view because you get to um go to places that you, you don't always um, have the opportunity to but um, but also it's a challenge because the, the, you can make that quite cliched or you can um, you can do it wrong and, and offend people so there was definitely um, a balancing act going on there and when it comes to uh, you actually leaving the show uh, we, we had Chloe she she stayed for another series so was it your decision to leave yeah. the show yeah yeah it was really I was I don't know why. I, I, I've always done that. I, I did Holby City um, after Waterloo Road and was there for two years, two and a half years. And Waterloo Road is different because you could go off and do things in between. So yeah. you could still do some things. Um, but I get an it after about three years, I think I just feel the itch of needing to go and do something different. And um and I, and I loved Waterloo Road and I think that was it as well I loved it and my character was leaving to go to university and also into yeah it was university and they said well we can still do stuff with you and you know you can be very much in the community and they talked about avenues my character, character could go down but it felt like the right time to, to move on really I'd had a great time and um, it, and storyline wise it was time to go on it was time to move on as well so um yeah i i think that's my way of working i think to 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 have a great time for a few years but not not stay forever and ever so you you was you weren't going to do an you weren't going to do an e and b o on the show and and stay on it for to the very end (laughs) although i was in a friend of mine um, did she was in it i think in series 10 um vanessa hay here and i went up to stay with her in scotland and um, when they all moved up there and I thought oh 
I could come back up here. It was great. I loved Glasgow anyway, but I thought, oh, yeah, I could do some time in Glasgow. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I wasn't going to stay, <laughs> stay for the whole 12. I don't know how many series it did in the end. Was it about 12. 10 or 12? Well, I think, 12, it, I right. think it was 12, well, yeah. yeah. I don't think I was set to be to be there for 12 series. <laughs> so what's next for you now as an actress? Have you got any upcoming projects that you can tell us about, something that you're working on? Yeah, um, well, I've got um, a BBC project coming out. Um, I say I've just done some post-production on it, so probably, I'm guessing, I'm making this up, but probably towards the end of the year or the autumn time. Um, and then, yeah, a few bits on BBC next year and um, and an ITV drama. So, yeah, some, some bits peppered around. You'll see my face popping up. I mean, you're an incredible actress. You played you played the part so well, and I love to see I love seeing you on Holby City as well. It's one of my uh, another favourite show. And then you you left again. It's like you think, oh, I get really <laughs> yeah. used to this character, and then you yeah, just decide to yeah. leave. <laughs> yeah, but it's good, good. I think to to um, as well. You know, when you're younger, yeah. like on Holby, I was working with lots of people that had done loads of theatre, and they a lot of them were a bit older than me. You know, forties and fifties, and and they'd had such varied careers. And as an actor, you just hungry to play different characters and work with different people, and um, and work on different scripts. So. Yeah, it, it was. It's always been important to me to try and keep things varied. But at the same time, I love working and I hate not working. So um, I, I don't want to be too precious about anything. Yeah. But um, if I, if the dream is to keep it varied and then um, and just work as much as I can, really. Well, honestly, thank you so much for taking the time <laughs> to to be part of the oh, show. Thanks and, for having me. And I wish you uh, best of luck with all the projects that's coming up. We're going to see a, a lot more of you uh, towards the end of the year <laughs> and early next year, I guess. Uh, well, yeah, I hope so. And and thank you uh, for having me on the show. Good luck with the show. I mean, I'll be listening now, catch up with what everyone else has been doing. It, yeah, we've, we've had some, some great uh, people. We've got loads and loads uh, confirmed. So it's, yeah, it's a really good lineup. I didn't expect to get such a good lineup, actually. It was really quite exciting. Oh, good. They're a good bunch, those Waterloo Road lots. Oh, thank you very much. Thank good you. Good luck and take care. Thanks. Take care. <laughs>